In this movie, we're going to take a look at the Outliner, the Hypergraph, and the Layer Editor in Maya. The Outliner and the Hypergraph are two main scene management editors in Maya. The Outliner can be found under Window, Outliner. The Outliner shows us the hierarchy of all objects in the scene in an outline form. So right here, if I open the plus sign next to the cone, you can see that the cone is a parent object for the pipe and the donut. So if I select the cone and move it, you can see the pipe and the donut are moving. I see my ball, helix, and so on. This is a great scene management tool. So I can even double click, let's say, on the helix name right here. I can rename it right here. I see some of my cameras and also one of the new cameras I made, camera underscore one. Also, something to note is everything has got its own icon. So this is a NURBS object. I can tell that just by looking at the icon. Here's a camera icon and so on. The hypergraph can be found under Window, Hypergraph Hierarchy. This one presents a nice graphical view of nodes right here and their connections. So over here, again, it can tell me that the cone is a parent object for the pipe and the donut. I can Alt and right mouse button zoom in and out, Alt and middle mouse button pan, and also use my scroll mouse wheel. To add objects and layers, you simply select the object. So let's say if I select the ball and the helix over here, and you go under the layer editor right here and click on this button. So right now, these two objects are in this layer. The V button over here pretty much is visible, invisible. This is a great scene management tool. So if you don't want to see everything in your scene at once, you can hide them. I can double click on the layer, opens the edit layer window. I can rename it. So let's just call it new. If I click on this empty button over here once, it goes to something called T, which is template mode in Maya, which means these are in a frozen state. I can't select these right now. If I click on T again, it goes to reference. They're still in a frozen state, but in shaded view or shaded mode. And if I click on R one more time, I can pretty much get back to my normal state. 